I don't give a damn about you. You basically have no education. You're a stranger to me. With that, she hung up the phone. I don't even consider you family. I mumbled to myself in the silence after the call was hung up. One day, I received a resume from HR, and to my surprise, it was my sister's. I never would have guessed that you would be the president of the company I just moved to. Well, whatever, you've only barely graduated middle school, so you should give me the position of president. Um, excuse me, but who are you, ma'am? My name is Kevin, and I am a 35-year-old business owner. I had an experience in the 7th grade when I became a recluse after a girl who used to be the leader of my class took notice of me and started bullying me. As for the bullying, I thought that if I just stayed quiet, it would eventually end. However, it escalated and I no longer could go to school because I felt that my life was in danger if I did so. I talked to my parents about it, of course, but they didn't understand my suffering. You're overreacting. I think those kids are just messing around with you. I'm embarrassed that my son stays home without going to school. It's usually the ones who get bullied that are at fault. The parents even went as far as to say that it was my fault. They repeatedly told me to go to school, but I still never did. I think this was my first moment of rebellion against my parents. Eventually, my parents gave up and stopped caring about me, as if they were no longer interested in me at all. That was sad, but it was easier than being told to go to school. While I was home, I devoted my time to computers, which I was interested in. I started teaching myself programming and typing code every day. My family thought I was writing some posts on the internet and made fun of me as an internet addict, but I am glad that I did not care and continued to study programming. Thanks to that, I am now able to run my own company. Even so, my family was really hard on me during that time. I had a younger sister, Jennifer, three years younger than me. She was very beautiful and pretty unlike my plain-looking self. On top of that, she was a sociable and cheerful person, so in contrast to me, she was extremely popular. She had many friends and was the center of the class, and my parents were very proud of her. Although her academic ability was not extremely high, she could study better than I could, and her grades were above average, so I guess that was another plus for my parents. And my sister was also very good at talking to adults, including my parents and teachers so she was spoiled more and more. My parents bought her everything. I didn't really care, but they often went out to eat without me, and my sister looked down on me because she was our parents' favorite child. It makes me less valuable just because you're my sibling. Now that you've graduated from middle school, get out of the house, you failure. I felt bad about staying home without being able to go to school, so I took a part-time job at a convenience store and put some money into the house, so I was not a complete failure. However, that was not important to my sister. All that mattered was that she could make fun of me. Hey, there's a school trip coming up, but how is it for you? Oh, I remember now. You didn't go on the school trip. I mean, you didn't even go to school for your last year of middle school because you're a failure. My younger sister makes fun of me like that every time she sees me. My parents didn't seem to care of such comments from my sister. On the contrary, my father would say things like, you're a really lousy son who wastes our money on food and joined him with my sister. It was better than the people at school because they didn't physically hurt me, but it was still really hard to be treated roughly by my parents. My sister went on to high school without a hitch. At that time, I was kicked out of the house. I had originally planned to leave, but I wanted to prepare a little more, but my family was relentless in their impulsion of me. You are already 19 years old. I can't keep you here in my house forever. W wait a minute, I want to stay home until my current job is settled. About a year ago, I started taking on freelance programming jobs. It was definitely more profitable than my part-time job at the convenience store, so I had quit my part-time job and switched to a single programming job. But apparently, to my family, I look like an unemployed man who just quit his part-time job and became a bum. Eventually, I had to pack my bags and leave. Until the job I was doing at the time was settled, I had to move in a big hurry to a room I could rent right away and went to a cafe to work until I could finish arranging my internet communication at home. At any rate, my work at that time was successfully completed and from then on I began to live independently. I worked freelance for a while but as I got absorbed in what I was doing, my income kept increasing and I started getting many job offers so I started hiring people to do the work on a share basis. Then I was advised by someone I met through business connections that it would be better to form a company, so I set up a corporation and began taking on work as a legal entity. 
That was the beginning of my career as a business manager. Incidentally, my sister on the other hand was also doing well in life. She was admitted to a well-known private university and later got a job at a good company. I guess her parents were proud of her because she had a good life in general. I am ashamed to admit that I regularly check my sister's post on her social networking account, which I happen to find, to see how she has been doing since then. On her posts, she posts pictures of her family members other than me, not to mention her boyfriend and friends, to show that she is getting along with her family. When I looked at those pictures, I felt that the family had been established without me and it was as if they had been a family of three from the beginning. After that, I stopped looking at my sister's social networking sites. Months passed quickly after that and I turned 35 years old. One day, I suddenly received a phone call from my mother. She had never called or communicated with me since I left home and I had forgotten to delete her number. Suspiciously wondering what on earth she wanted, I pressed the call button. Hello? Mom? What's wrong? Jennifer is getting married and I want you to send her a gift to celebrate. Married? I told you she's getting married. Don't make me say it twice. My mother seemed like it was a hassle to talk to me. I was disappointed to hear her attitude, though it was the first time in a long time I had heard her voice. How could she be like that when she was the one who had called me? I don't know where Jennifer is living right now. You give me so much trouble. Why don't you ask her yourself? Why can't you use your brain for once? You really are a failure. Send her your congratulations, okay? With that, she hung up the phone. With a sigh, I opened the contacts on my phone and pulled up my sister's number for the first time in a while. I pressed the call button and waited for the call to connect. I really didn't want to call my sister, but I knew that if I didn't send her a gift, my parents would call me again, pestering me, so I had no choice. After waiting a while, she finally picked up. What? She said bluntly. Mom told me that you're getting married. She told me to send you a gift to celebrate, so I thought I'd get your address. When I said this, my sister snickered. What are you talking about? Why should I give you my address? Because mom told me to send you a gift. You're so persistent. I don't want a gift from a person like you, because it means that you'd be sending me garbage. I don't need garbage. As usual, my sister was my sister. No matter how many months go by, I bet the attitude of my sister and parents towards me will never change. When I was dumbfounded... My sister misunderstood and proceeded to talk. Oh yeah, you're not thinking of attending the wedding, are you? You're not family, so don't you even think of attending. Even if you did come, I would turn you away. I don't want a stranger at my wedding. You don't have to talk like that. What did you tell your fiancé's family about me? I've introduced them. I had a poorly educated older brother, but he got kicked out of the house because spending money on him was a waste. Anyone poorly educated is a stranger to me. That's how it is, so don't ever contact me again. With that, she hung up the phone. I don't even consider you family. I mumbled to myself in the silence after the call was hung up. I don't want to send her a congratulatory gift anyways. Well, I can't send anything anyways since she didn't give me her address after all. I quietly blocked my sister and parents' numbers. It was the first time I had called them since I left home, and I laughed in spite of myself because they hadn't changed at all. Now I will never be involved with my family. After that, I went back to my normal routine and threw myself into work. Then, a few months later, something surprising happened. One day, I received a resume of a new hire from HR. I leave it entirely up to HR to find new personnel, so after the hiring decision is made, I check out the new hire. Then, to my surprise, I saw my sister's picture. I had no idea that my sister would be joining the company. I asked the HR person about my sister. What kind of person was this Jennifer? Jack was the one who brought her here. Jack? In sales? Speaking of Jack, he is quite young in the sales section, but able to do his job well. Yes, her academic background is perfect, and her work history was not bad either, so I decided to hire her. I see. I wanted to fire her right now, but I still managed to control my emotions. If I did that, my impression would go down, so I decided to wait and see. Then, I decided to keep an eye out for my sister. Maybe she was planning to do something to the company since I was the president. I was surprised when I saw the result of an investigation I decided to do to find out if there were any suspicious relationships in the workplace. My sister seems to be having an affair with Jack. I asked HR if my sister was married to Jack, just to be sure. The HR person shook his head. Jack is single, and Jennifer's husband works for a company called Circle Co. I see. Boss, is something wrong? No, it's nothing. This means that it is certain that my sister is having an affair. 
I planned to use this information when I eventually had to defend myself. With that in mind, the time came pretty quickly. As I was working as usual, I suddenly heard intense knocking on the president's office door. The people in the president's office were startled. I told my secretary to open the door. When the secretary opened the door, my sister entered the president's office with a grin on her face. Hey you, do you think it's okay to just barge in here without permission? The secretary stopped her in a panic, but my sister ignored the secretary's words and sat down on the sofa in the president's office with a thump. I never would have guessed that you would be the president of the company I had just moved to. I was so surprised when I found out. I still can't believe it, and I still doubt that it's true. How in the world did you become the president of this company? Well, whatever. You've only barely graduated middle school, so you should give me the position of president. My sister demanded, with the same attitude she had used to mock me. The secretary looked at her with her mouth gaping open. Your mother and father will be very happy when I become president and have a lot of money in my hands. Making your parents happy is something only I can do. I tilted my head at my sister, who was forever cursing me, and said, Um, excuse me, but who are you, ma'am? You forgot your sister's face? You're a gloomy, dim-witted, poor, uneducated man, aren't you? You seem to have a lot of bad things to say about me. Are you an employee of my company? When I said this, my sister got angry as her face turned red. Don't you dare talk about this company as if it were yours. You must have done something to get the position of president of this company. Otherwise, there is no way an incompetent person like you could be in such a position. My sister says this in a distraught and loud voice. The secretary is watching and checking. Then again, there was a knock at the president's office. Come in. As I said this, the door opened and a man walked into the president's office. Excuse me. My sister's eyes widened when she saw the man's face. What are you doing here? Jennifer, what are you doing here? I was startled when I heard a yelling voice just now. It sounded kind of like you. Were you yelling at the president? No, no, you're misunderstanding. He's my brother. Brother? The brother you said was uneducated and got kicked out of his house? Yes, that's him. That brother. No, that's impossible. Because this company was created by him. It's been more than ten years now, so it doesn't sound like your brother. This company was created by who? How many times do I have to tell you, the president of this company, who is standing in front of you right now, founded this company? No way! My brother? To my surprise sister, I dared to continue pretending to be a stranger. You've been referring to me as your older brother for a while now, but I'm a little troubled by that. I don't have a sister. How long are you going to keep pretending that you are my brother? If you insist on making fun of me to that extent, I'll tell everyone that you were bullied in middle school and refused to go to school. Everyone in the company knows that. What? They all know that and are following me as a leader. If you continue to be so disrespectful to me, I will have to fire you. Wait a minute, I will not allow you to fire me. She does not want to leave this company, but she also does not want to work for me. I played my best card against her selfishness. I heard recently that you and Jack have been getting to know each other quite well. Jennifer is married to one of our business partners, right? How is it possible for Jennifer to be intimate with another man? As a company, we would appreciate it if you could refrain from any behavior that might tarnish our image. As I said this, my sister's husband was wide-eyed and questioned my sister. Hey, Jennifer, what the hell is he talking about? Don't tell me you're having an affair! W wait a minute, that's bullshit! While she was saying that, I started spreading out on the table the evidence of her infidelity. Hey, what's with these pictures? My sister's face turned pale as her husband asked. After that, my sister and Jack were dismissed from the company. I'm the type of person who doesn't tolerate dishonesty or infidelity, so I was the one who fired them. Some people may think that it's okay to have an affair, but I had no intention of hiring my sister in the first place, and now I had a good reason to fire her, so I took advantage of it. It may be a bit of abuse of authority as the boss, but I have been hurt by my sister so much that I think it's okay to take advantage of this a little bit. Incidentally, my sister's husband divorced her and demanded alimony for the affair. She is now taking refuge at her parents' house, and she has asked her parents to pay the $30,000 alimony. My sister had lost all confidence in herself after this incident and is now staying at home. She sometimes goes crazy, and her parents are having a hard time dealing with her. My parents also has to pay the alimony on their daughter's behalf, so even her mother, who used to be a housewife, has started working. 
I learned about all of this through a long email sent by my mother, who managed to convey her painful situation and ask for my support, but since they were already strangers to me, so I put it in my junk mail, so I don't have to check it when I receive it, and I don't have to waste my time getting involved with those people who are selfish to no end. And now, I have been able to further increase sales and grow the company, but I will continue to work hard as president to protect the lives of my employees. Why do they discriminate between siblings? I feel that Kevin's parents are the worst in this story. They could have gone through more hell, if you were to ask me. In any case, I am glad that his sister and parents had fallen. I hope Kevin continues to do his best as president, and I hope he meets new people for his love life. I wish him all the best in his life, both publicly and privately. Thank you for watching. How did you like today's story? Please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next story.